Hey guys, this is Apollo here, and today I'm going to do the review of the 124 skill entry grade RX-72 Gundam full weapon set. Alright, here is the entry grade RX-72. Now, I apologize for not having the turntable with me because um, I feel like I've run out of batteries. Yeah, the, the one I, the last battery I used for that one is already run flat, and yeah, I try to find some batteries in my house, but I don't know. I don't have any. I ran out of batteries, so apologize for that. But so many, I was just gonna use it, just you know, show it like this, really. So, anyways, yeah. So basically, this is the Entry Gate RX-78 II, which is re-released in a different, in a slightly different color scheme, and with more stuff, basically. So, um, basically, for colors, basically, you've got the white, okay, from the original Entry Gate RX-78, which I'll show you later on in comparison, um, the color, okay, this is more reminiscent to the anime colors, as opposed to the one from the original Entry Gate, which is, I think, more of a, not, I won't say realistic, but it's more brighter colors this is more toned down because it's supposed to represent the end in a way so the colors basically you've got uh, a white which is which is like bleh it's whatever we've got white which is which has a hint of uh green uh very very almost even green uh you can't really see on camera right now but it's much more greener in in person you've got a blue which is again more toned down from the original into green the yellow uh which is more orangish and the red which is more toned down as well and gray for the joints, which is again the green. The gray is much more, much more greener as opposed to the original entry grade. Um, backstory behind this this build. Well, I built this at work. Yeah. So what do you mean? What do you mean by that? So well, like I think I built a couple of days ago. I brought the entry grade box to my work, just hoping that if I have free time, I probably build it. And apparently did because apparently while I was working there, the the server was down, so I, I can't do any work for the time being. So I had I had to. Um, I had to, you know, spend my kill time by just building this, and I finished this within like an hour, in, 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 yeah, an hour. So it's pretty fast and pretty simple, as it's for an entry grade. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's this, it's the same entry grade we already done a review before, but I'm gonna go through the articulation again just in case, and go through accessory again, might as well, because well, in the previous one it's a little bit too fast. I, I spoke a little bit too fast, but yeah, I mean. Um, build wise, it's, it's actually much more better than the original integrate I built because, well, I mean, well, some of the parts are like much more, well, they're tighter, yes, but they're even more easy to move as opposed to the original integrate because the original integrate I have I had to send the joints down, which makes, which makes it very loose. This one I have no problem so far, but it, I can guarantee you it will get loose over time because plastic on plastic means it's, well, even though it's KPS for the joints, doesn't mean it, it, it will last longer, it, it will still wear out as any. Couple kit will if you don't use polycaps. Our articulation, I'm going to go through it again, but you get you, if you've seen the entry reaction in review I did years ago, oh, yeah, last year, then yeah. So the head is on a double ball joint, goes up, down, forward and back, a little side to side, rotates the arms. Uh, they are kind of a C clip, so the arms can go up all the way up like that, and then the arm itself is a ball joint. So you can rotate all around, which is pretty tight, but this is good so far. V arms are on a swivel, single joint elbow for the C clip, and it's pretty good. Conforms really nicely. Balls on the wrists. Torso is uh, okay. This piece is float, sort of floating in the torso, and you can bend forward for an air crunch. It looks weird from the back, but if you want articulation, that's good. And then the torso can rotate. Um, front skirts are molded together, but you can separate them. I chose not to, but technically, if you have them down, you can move the front skirt. But if you pull the okay, not like that. I mean, if you pull it slightly, you can actually move the front skirts a little bit more like that. But you're forcing it, so that will kind of move the front out of the way. Side skirts are on ball joints. Uh, though I don't recommend you move them too much because they are. It is normal plastic on plastic. Basher doesn't move. The Legs are on ball joints, so technically pseudo universal joints. So the legs can go for that far. It can go all the way back, but because how tight the ball joint is, I don't risk it. Out that far. Rotation the hip. Double joint the knee. Very good. And C clip joints, yeah. 
Uh, ankle armor is on a ball joint, but it's very tight. I don't, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't really move it. The ankle itself is on a hinge, is on a hinge, so you can go forward and back. And then the the foot itself is a flip-flop action. And then the toe, the the foot is on ball joints. Uh, like a, the ankle tilt is on a ball joint. So articulation, well, I mean, you've seen it before from the original entry arcs when you reviewed it, but I'm going to again just 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 a bit slower. And yeah, I mean. It's a pretty good kit, pretty good for the collection for a very cheap kit. So, yeah, pretty good for what it is. All right, for accessories, well, let's go on with what, what came with the original R78 entry grade. First off, uh, you do get the beam sabers back here, um, but uh, you get no beams in the original. But in this full weapon set, you do get two clipping beams, which is the only. Accessory in a kit which you need to cut with nippers. I don't know if that everything else is all touch gates. So even if you don't have any, um, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but um, if you're a total beginner, you you don't you really don't know what, what nippers are. So maybe you would use a scissors or, ball, or, or nail clippers. But either way, these pieces are pretty easy to cut. So I'm not, I'm not gonna say you should you should get nippers on the first try. But I mean, you can. But um, if you, if you if you want if you want to try it for yourself, then yeah, I mean you can just use nickel. It's perfectly fine, and I'm not, I'm not blaming you if you're a beginner. Anyway. Anyways, that's that. Now, for the weapons, for what comes with the original R78 entry grade, you get a beam rifle, mobile scope. Um, if the the detail isn't that great here, but it's entry grade, so I can totally understand. Size a nice like so. And next off, you get a shield. Which is well, again very good cost separation. So what you do is, if you attach it, you just have to take this up handle out, which is a little, little bit tricky. Uh, how do I do it? There we go. And then uh, you just there's holes on each, well both sides of the arms. So attach it like that, and just simply clip it in like this. Like something like that, yeah, you get the point. But that's it. No, that's for the. That's what comes with the original RX RX eight. Now for the full weapon set, it comes with three more weapons. Oh no, not including the beam saber type parts that I showed earlier. Um, so what else? Okay, all right. So let's start off with this. We, what I, what I really like is the hyper bazooka. So again, all touch gates. As it's even more simpler than the hybrid build. So. Um, yeah, basically it's just, uh, there one, yeah, four parts, really. So, to attach the Hyper Bazooka onto the Gundam, uh, first, first off, you just take out this, hand, this piece, slide it on, and you just clip the piece back on. Like, and yeah, um, like that. There we go, we have the Hyper Bazooka on the Gundam. Pretty neat. And next off, you the new weapon, which is totally new for this um, integrate, the beam javelin. Now, keep in mind this is not the correct colors, uh, technically. Even though in the manual it says yeah, it's supposed to be gray, but it's not supposed to be. It, technically, if you look at the line, it's not the correct colors. The, ha the whole staff should be in white, and the, the tip should be. Uh, oh, it's not clear. It should, be, it should be pink, but you just paint metallic pink as well. You're done to go. So you can do you can attach to beam javelin onto the. Kind of like so, but now here comes a little problem I faced with the beam javelin, which I wish they, they could have done a little better. How how they do it? So you notice that the um, hand is one solid piece, meaning to say you can only attach the beam javelin like this, like a beam saber. So if you want to do like let's say like a two-handed pose, well you can't because unless you buy like maybe some option parts to solve the hands out. But even so, I mean, it's pretty weird. Like, you can only hold the beam javelin like this, which is a bit awkward. I mean, you can, there's some poses you can do one hand, there's some poses you can do two handed, but if you want to do two handed poses, that kind of stuff, you can't, you can't actually. So, unfortunately, you can't do that. So, but, I mean, it's a nice weapon, though I wish they could have, like, you know, like, maybe just made the hands have, have separate hand covers so it's easy to make, make a two handed pose. Like, like have to do an integrated strike, which I don't understand why you didn't do it on integrated arcs and yay. Um, well, I mean, it's a color separation, but yeah. That's it for the Binjo and the last accessory, which I like, but quite disappoint disappointing as well, is the Gundam Hammer. Um, well, yeah, a Gundam Hammer, it's pretty neat. Uh, the Chance of Moo, which I'm okay with, because, well, entry grades aren't supposed to be that um, 
hard to build. Now, I, I am a little worried because I mean, it's pretty obvious. I am worried the hand, the chain might break, so do be careful. Um, so basically, to attach the gun hammer onto the Gundam, you just take the anchor off, um, just plug it in like this from the bottom. Ah, uh, there. Ah, oh, no, wrong way. Okay, so like this, and then you just uh, it's a C clip. You just take it out like that. So you just clip it, and you get the gun kind of hammer there. So here's kind of the problem. So if you kind of if you see if you if you notice, um, you notice that the chain is really loose. I mean, I mean the C clip is pretty loose. I mean, it's a very small C clip joint. So meaning to say that you can't really get it get a good. It will keep flopping from side to side. It will never stay straight. Oh. 80% of the time, I mean, it's straight now, but if you move around, it will just swap like that. So, I kind of wish they could have made this the C clip a little stronger, I guess, so it's, it wouldn't really um, move around. But, what you gotta do? Um, it, it's an entry grade, but you know what? It's fine. You can just, if you really want, if you want, you can just glue it on and it won't move, but still, it's an entry grade. I don't think you want to use glue on your first kit, would you? So, yeah, that's it for accessories. I mean, that's. For that's the the whole loadout of the RX seventy eight, every that's literally everything that I was gonna use in the anime. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good kit. I mean, good, good bunch of accessories for I think a little bit, about a couple couple hundred even more. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right, for comparisons, well, I had to bring in the original entry grade RX seventy eight. As yeah, you can see. Totally different color scheme. You can see how much the color has been toned down, and yeah, I mean it's more anime accurate, which I, I like this color more better than the uh, and well, me I think I like this more better than that, the color wise. But it's okay. I need another, it's an, another. It's okay to have another color for the uh, entry grade. Um, but you can see in the original entry grade, it's pretty pretty loose. I've not okay. I've been playing off so much, and this is all you can see. It's really floppy. This one is still strong, but maybe over time, if you keep playing around with it, it will get loose. So that's for the. Originally it's great. Now, cover with another height with another arm which I do like a lot. The Beyond Global. Yeah, that's our review. Alright, that's our review of the entry grade RX 72 gun full weapon set. Now, um so here's the thing. Um uh, I will do a comparison to the high grade uh revive RX 72 gun because these kits are both the same price, 1,000 yen, and uh, I will go through a little detail about what, what, what I feel personally for these, both, of these kit, both of these kits, and how I feel, uh, which I see is better than the two, well, it's up to your opinion ultimately, but I'll just give my own suggestions. Okay, so basically, um, let's go to, to, to the, stick, the stuff here first before I compare. So, details wise, pretty good. Uh, nuts are pretty well smart place, I would say. Uh, but it's if you're if you're a veteran, though, it should be this should be fast a fast build for you. So articulation, well, I mean, it's a good it's a good it's a good, it's a good bleh, start over. Okay, articulation is great because I mean it's an entry grade. I've already gone through it before. It's pretty good. Accessories, well, you've got even more kits than before, uh, even more uh, accessories than before. So I mean that's the complete set, I would say, if you want to get an entry grade for for yourself. And here comes the question you guys want to ask me. Should I get the High Revive RX-22 Gundam uh, or the Integrate RX-22 Gundam? Now, this honestly depends on how you see the gunplay itself. Because if you ask me, um, if you're a total beginner and let's say you you really want to just want to give it a shot for yourself, I mean, if you're like zero experience, um, I would say uh, get the Entry Grade RX-22. I mean, this the full weapon set has more, so. Um, yeah, if you if you can get the integrate, it's good. But if you can get a full percent, it's even better because you get even more stuff for the same for the same price as if you're selling more price than the original one, which is this one right here. All right, so now I'm not saying the revive is a bad kit. I would say I mean it's it's a good it's a good kit. It's just that it's a little more challenging than the integrate because first of all the integrate touch gate, so you don't have to use nippers if you don't have nippers. But if you want to try with nippers, then maybe if maybe if you want something that's slightly more detailed, I mean, yeah, the color separation, some, some of the color separation is not as good as the integrate, like the Vienna crotch, which is the Vienna crotch on the Revive is a sticker. And, well, I gotta say, well, how I say this? Okay, so it's ultimately, if it's up to you how you want to choose, but if you're a total beginner, for, like, as a beginner, I would say go for the integrate. But if you, if you, if you want to, like, maybe... Want to try with nippers? I mean, like just nippers and see how how good it will go. 
get a revive. But for fellow beginners, or if you want a very simple kit, give give as a friend, give to your friend, or if you want a fun like a it's just a quick kit to build for just for fun, then you create it's a really great kit. Overall, it's a good kit. If you already have the entry grade arsenic with the original version that I had registered just now, well, I mean, you. It's up to you, really. I mean, if you if you don't mind having an Arc 72 collection like I do, then yeah, go for it. But if you don't have an Intricate Arc 72 collection, this is the perfect one to get because you've got every single thing, the Ars- every single thing from the Arsenal to the Arc 72 gonna be used in the anime. So, yeah, I mean, you've got everything: the bazooka, the beam rifle shield, hyper, hyper bazooka. But, I mean, you've got everything. You get you get all the Arsenal that you're gonna use in the anime. So, I rather you get that than the original integrate. And if you want to test your paint, you want to do test some painting stuff. This is the perfect kit to try it out. So, yeah, that's for the guys. Thank you guys for watching this review. And stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.